the recording right now. Okay, so does everybody, does everyone, can everybody tell what the pattern is here? Can everybody see what we have to do to get from one to the next? I just told you. Good. Division, okay, so that's good, Anna Marie. Division is, it's, it's, it seems different, okay, but that's why I want to show you a dividing one because it's going to be like, the, we do it the same exact way. It's just that at the end of it, the answer is going to look crazy. It's going to look like we did a bunch of crazy stuff, but it's just division. But I'm with you, though. I, th I hate division. That's like my least favorite one. Okay, so right here, okay, we're dividing by two every time. All right, so I'm going to start with the recursive one. Because that's kind of the easier, it's the easier one to think about. It's like recursive. What we're going to write is we start at 100 and divide by 2 every time. We just have to write it in math language. So that is how we write start at 100 in math language. And then this part now, copy and paste. To get any other number, we take the number before it. We go backwards. And then now... Instead of adding or subtracting, the end of it should be multiplying or dividing now, like you guys said. Okay, so literally right there, Anna Marie, the only difference in our equation when it was a dividing problem was that we, we wrote a division sign instead of multiply. That's literally the only thing that's different about the recursive one. Okay, so that's all it is. All right, so now I'm going to work on the explicit one over here. Okay, so for the explicit one now, that's the one that should have an exponent in it. Remember, there should be an X in the exponent. And so this is how you do these ones, Anna Marie. And everyone else, obviously. Okay, you start with the first number in your list. Okay, it's almost like you're, you're giving someone directions, again, on how to, get the, how to get any number in here. Okay, so we're going to start with 100. And then every time we're going to divide it by 2. And then remember the exponent x minus 1. Because we're going to divide it by 2 one less time than whatever x we're on. That whole thing we talked about last time. And so again, in this one, in the explicit equation, okay, the only difference, the only difference in this one with a dividing one is just the fact that there's a dividing symbol right there. If it was multiplying by 2, okay, just in case, like, you guys would want to see the difference. If it was multiplying by 2, if, okay... This is imaginary right here. Make sure you know that. If it was multiplying, so like maybe if I were you guys on my paper, I would write something like that. If multiplying, the only difference would be we change the division to multiply. It'd be okay, start with 100 now, but then multiply by 2 x minus 1 times. Okay, so those are like, that's the only difference really between multiplying and dividing is the symbol. And it's kind of obvious, like if you were dividing, you obviously wouldn't write a multiplication symbol. And if you were multiplying, you would not write a division symbol. Okay, so still start with the first one. Okay, and then the pattern come next, whether it's dividing or multiplying. And then the exponent. 